up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I rowed for uh, Roman Catholic High School. I uh, began rowing there in 2001 as a freshman in high school. Uh, after that, I rowed at Princeton University for four years um, and then have been rowing the national team for the past eight years. So I started rowing in high school in the spring, but I played football in the fall. And my older brother rowed on the rowing team. And I had been to many of the regattas because he was two years older. So I was in like seventh and eighth grade uh, going to watch him. And I, I knew about the sport a little bit. Um, and I decided to try it out. I mean, I, I guess in the beginning of the ride, simply like, can, can I do this? Uh, can I make the team at the beginning? Can I make the team? Okay, well, can I make the top boat for the team? Can I place well at the World Championships or Olympics? So that was like kind of last quadrennial up until 2012. It was like, all right, I, re I realized that I, I can do this. Um, I realized that I could be you know, somewhat competitive with the top guys in our country. And then last quadrennial ended with uh, me being in the four and I was getting third, uh, which was, I think, a pretty positive result. Um, since then, my expectations have rose from, you know, let's not get third, but let's try to get first. Um, so we're in the situation now where we just qualified the boat and can't win unless you're qualified. Now there's seven boats in the Olympics and we gotta make sure that we can beat the other six boats. Um, we have a couple months now until the Olympics to get the boat to the speed it needs to be to try to compete for that gold medal. I think that's the goal right now. It's definitely different. Last time I, like I, said, I was a young one, I had a bunch of guys to look up to. I just tried to follow you know, the likes of you know, a couple guys like a David Banks, for, for instance, of a guy who was a little older than me last time who did it really well. Uh, he just put his head down, did the hard work, raced really well, and I just tried to, you know, kind of follow him and, and what he did. Now I try to do the same thing, hopefully for the younger guys. Um, just go about the business the right way, do the correct training, race really well, try to bring something to the table in the crew that maybe you know, their lack of experience might not, they might not have that. In addition, I think now that we're in, I'm in the eight-man crew, being able to manage everybody, have a kind of different relationship with everybody, and try to bring, bring out their strengths and let everybody know that they're adding something to the crew and not everybody adds the same thing. Um, some guys might just add from the rowing sense, like a power or a technical thing. Emotional thing is definitely, a, an emotional part of the sport is definitely something other people bring if you're not the most powerful. Some guys bring two or three or everything, um, but you wanna make sure you maximize everybody and being able to guide the crew, guide the group through the, 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 the tough days and through the good days.